creating a Windows PE Boot CD in Windows 7. First, you gotta download and install the Windows Automated Installation Kit. Afterwards, run the following commands from the Windows PE Tools command prompt or the Deployment Tools command prompt. Now that the files have been copied, create the ISO for the bootable disk. To do that, invoke the following commands in the command prompt. Now that the ISO had been created, burn the ISO file to a DVD or a CD. To locate the ISO file, go to the C winpe-x86. Good day. Today, I will show you how to create a simple answer file in a Windows 7 PC. First, you must have a Windows 7 DVD injected in your computer. So there, I have a Windows 7 DVD in injected to my computer. Next thing is you must go to command prompt so click start all programs accessories and command prompt in the command prompt type md c slash new install This command will create a folder named WinInstall in your C hard drive. Next step is to copy all the files in the Windows 7 DVD to the WinInstall folder. Just type this command and there. This may take a few minutes, so we must wait. Okay. So we're done in copying Windows 7 files. So after that, close the command prompt. Next is to open the Windows System Image Manager. So start all programs, Microsoft Windows AIK, Windows System Image Manager. So at the image pane, we, we, we must see the select a Windows image or catalog file. So just right click and select Windows image. Then browse the browse this location. See, we install slash sources. Sources. Okay, so I'm done in browsing the install.twim file from the win, win install folder. 
So next step is to create the answer file. So just click file and new answer file. So notice that the answer file pane generate an untitled XML file. So next step is to expand x86 Microsoft Windows setup 6.1 xxx or blah 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 so, expand then it's already expanded Six Microsoft there. Then click the product key. key then so in the windows image pane right click product key and click add setting to pass one windows PE this adds the setting to the currently opened answer file and selects it in the answer file pane. Right click, add setting to pass Windows PE. So there. It was in imported to the answer file pane. So next step is to change the product key to 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 at the key pane then set this to on error So next step is to save the created answer file. So save answer file as so the create uh, created answer file will named as auto attend then save so we're done in creating answer file now let's check if the answer file was created successfully so we just close the windows system image manager Click the Internet Explorer browser. To check it, just type C will install slash sources slash auto unattend XML. This is, this is the created simple answer file for Windows 7. 
So thank you for watching and goodbye. Good day. Today I will show you how to use computer management. But before that, let's know first what is computer management. Computer management serve as the common troubleshooting tool and for snap-ins. Computer management is divided into three tools or into three sections. The system tools, which is the task scheduler, event viewer, shelled folder, performance, and device manager. The second one is the storage. Under of that is the disk management. The third one is services. And now I will show you how to use computer management. First, start button and click control panel. After that, you click administrative tools and then double click computer management. And now, this is the interface of computer management. Here are the three sections. The system tools, the storage, and service application. Under of the system tools are the task scheduler, event viewer, shared folders, local users and groups, performance, and device manager. In task scheduler, it runs a program in a particular time. Here is subgroup, the task scheduler li library. The second one, event viewer. Event viewer is another way to access same information in the administrative tools. Under of that is the custom views, windows logs, applications, and subscriptions. Third one, shared folders. Shared folders let you see all shared and non-shared folders in your local computer. Under of that, it is shares, sessions, and open, open files. Fourth one is the local users and groups. This shows the local users and users as a group. Fifth one, performance. Performance also is another way to access same information in administrative tools. Under of that is monitoring tools, performance monitor, data collector sets, and reports. The last one is the device manager. Device manager in which you can use to view the different configuration about your devices. The second section is the storage. Under of that is the disk management. This management is used to manage your hard disk, specifically. The last section is the service and applications, in which you can enable and disable services in Windows 7. Under of that is the services and WMI control. And now I'll show you how to use computer management. First, click services and then here are some of the running tasks and here are their field the name the name of the task the description the status startup type and log on us at this time i'll show you how to access computer management in a simpler way First, click start and go to computer and right click and then click manage and as you see this is the interface of computer management. Here are the sections, the system tools, storage, service applications and others and other subgroups. Thank you and goodbye.